what I'd like to look at is what these percentages that we just reviewed actually equate to in hands, in ranges as such. And for that, we're going to go to Poker Stove as always. And we're going to come in here, you click on Player, and go to Preflop. So when you see that uh, an opponent, let's take a typical tag, is playing 15% of all hands, Poker Stove is going to default to this. Okay, sevens are better, king 10, ace 10 are better, like this. This is a, a default for 15%. You can also come over here and grab this, this bar and move it across like this. And let's say we have a guy playing, you know, 17%, something like this, of all hands. Now, this 17% may not look like this range. Okay, and you need to adjust that again based on your, your player types. A lot of guys are going to be playing any pair right fewer aces no king tens uh, and king jacks off suited and they'll probably take these guys out of here and potentially add something like this you know and you have the same number more or less but a markedly different range okay and how that matches up against your holding varies greatly here so this 15 percent isn't just the default that Poker Stove is going to give you. You need to adjust these numbers, these ranges, um, to understand more specifically what your players are actually holding, potentially, or at least what their entire range consists of. And what we have, let's say, for example, a guy who's been raising only 9%. Let's clear that. And put him on 9. Something like this. Okay. 9% raiser, probably isn't going to, yeah, maybe late, okay, ace 9, maybe late. Um, probably more like this. Right, um, this is a range that you're going to see a lot for 9%ers, okay, and that means at any given time, he might be on 6s, and he might be on aces, but a range, again, defined as uh, a list of hands that a player has and plays his hand exactly the same with. So, for example, um, player in MP2 makes an open raise with 9%, as you see in your poker tracking software, for example, Holder Manager. So you see this guy is raising 8.9% from middle position uh, given a sample size of 2,000 hands. All right, you give him this range. Any given time, he might be, at any given time, he might be on sixes, might be on aces, it might even be on ace, jack, offsuit. Uh, let's give him the ace, nine, two, why not? And, yeah, this is his entire range. And if you want to know what your hand then is, uh, how strong your hand is in relation to that, let's say you got ace, queen, offsuit. And you come in here, you just put in your actual holding, hit evaluate, and that shows you how ace, queen, offsuit performs against that entire range, as you guys see here. Let's say player in MP, I think we just said MP, MP3, then makes that raise with this range that we put him on. Okay, we re-raise with ace-queen, and he comes over the top. Okay, so he two bets, we then three bet, and he comes over the top with a four bet. Now, his four bet range is no longer 9%. His four bet range may be like this. And, yeah, 2%. He'd probably be raising that as well. Um, as a 4-bet, he may only even be here with really, really tight players. 1.4%. So at this point, we're not, you know, irrespective of the player type, irrespective of the profile that we've given that player, when he then 4-bets with that percentage over the top on our ace-queen, we know that we're just toast. Okay, we're no longer looking at his 9% range. Right, we're looking at a 1.4% range. And this is exactly what we're going to get into in greater detail in the, in the video on bet types and moves and, and pop manipulation. But just know that given certain player types, given certain numbers, you can find out what those ranges are with this program here, this poker stove. And you can adjust them accordingly. And now, against the range of queens are better, when we have our ace-queen here, look at the difference in equity, we only have 23%. If we were to extend that a bit, let's say he's 4-betting a bit wider. 
let's give him this, and even then, I mean, maybe 30% exactly. All right, so it's just a losing proposition in the long run, unless, of course, you have the pot odds, um, which, which give you uh, a profitable call, even at that percentage. Okay, based on stack sizes, or whatever, it's also possible. Um, let's say, for example, you only have to call, let's say this guy is very small stacked, and you only have to call 20% uh, of the pot. But your equity is already 29%. So even here, against that really tight range, you can call with your ace-queen profitably in the long run if this range is, of course, correct.